Hello folks, today we will review one of NetSuite's leading practices for the procure to pay process and how this helps businesses meet their objectives. My name is Mary Williams and I'm the CEO and founder of Projects Analytics. We are a NetSuite solution provider. I will portray several roles from a company that just recently transitioned to NetSuite from a legacy on-premise ERP consisting of various disparate systems and manual processes. They experienced many of the challenges identified on this slide. Month end close took over 40 days. Manual approvals and minimal controls resulted in consistent rogue overspending. Limited visibility into procurement operations, coupled with inefficient payables management, resulted in cost containment and cash flow difficulties, as well as deteriorating vendor relationships. This company determined that they were in no position to expand their product offerings or to expand globally. Suite success is the culmination of a multi-year transformation effort to combine the NetSuite Unified Suite, 20 years of industry-leading practices, a new customer engagement model, and business optimization methods into a unified industry cloud solution. Data can be accessed anytime, anywhere, with any browser, using any device, and it includes a free mobile app making it easy to stay connected. From day one, NetSuite includes a complete set of roles, dashboards, reports, and KPIs, enabling customers to realize value sooner with the assurance that data is safe and secure. This depicts a high-level overview of NetSuite's leading practice for Procure to Pay, illustrating the progression of a purchase order through the approval process to the receipt of the purchased item to invoice entry and vendor payment, utilizing preset reminders and approvals at every step to notify users of all purchase activities, POs to approve and receive, and bills to pay. Users have easy access to AP metrics and agent reports from their role-based dashboards, enabling them to proactively monitor the procurement process, accounts payable, and cost management. I'm starting out as Abby Kwan, a corporate trainer. I've logged on to my employee center because I'd like to check on the status of a purchase request that I entered earlier this morning for 10 iPads for an upcoming training class. When I access my employee center, I can either check on the status of purchase requests or easily enter a new one. PO253 is the purchase request for the 10 iPads. Notice the status is pending supervisor approval. When I access the purchase request, I can easily double check the line items that I entered as well as the price of those line items. I can verify that the vendor is the Apple Store. I also entered a memo making it easy for those approving this purchase request to understand the nature of the request. And here's the order total, $4,975. My purchase limit is $75, so my request has been routed to my supervisor for approval. Prior to NetSuite, I would submit a paper purchase request form that many times would end up in a black hole on someone's desk. Now I can create purchase requests anytime, anywhere, utilizing any browser, confident that it will progress automatically to approvals, receipt, and then AP processing. I'm now logged in as Abby's supervisor, the CEO where this purchase request has been routed for approval. NetSuite is easy to access from my notepad while I'm traveling, so purchase request approvals are not delayed if I'm not at my desk. As CEO, I'm able to view a dashboard that is geared to my responsibilities with reminders such as purchase requests to approve and various KPIs, metrics, and shortcuts, enabling me to easily monitor trends regarding revenue, expenses, and operating cash flow, as an example. These reminders, such as purchase requests to approve, are actionable links, and I can approve all requests as a batch, or I can pick and choose individually. I'll select the purchase request for Abby Kwan. 
Upon accessing the purchase order, I like to verify the pricing and vendor status to ensure we're maintaining good standing with this vendor as this was a particular problem prior to NetSuite because of our disparate systems and lack of controls. I can access the vendor record directly from the purchase request and upon accessing the vendor record I have a 360 degree view of everything pertaining to the Apple Store including a history of all previous transactions with this vendor. I can also review a purchase history which shows all purchase requests with this vendor. Here's the one for Abby. I can also access items to review the items that we typically purchase. All of the transactions, purchase history, and items are drillable down to the source document. I also like to view the financial tab where I can easily see our credit limit with this vendor, the terms, the balance, and any pricing schedules. I usually verify the communication information to make sure that I am informed about this particular vendor. Notice I can also initiate a new communication without leaving NetSuite. Lastly, I like to view the relationships which will show me all of the contacts with this vendor in the event I need to obtain any clarification regarding the PO or the pricing. When I'm done reviewing the vendor ease info, I can easily navigate back to the purchase request and then approve the purchase request. The system is updated in real time and this PO is now routed to the Inventory Manager for receipt. Since transitioning to NetSuite, we have much better control over our spending and costs and greater visibility into committed spend. NetSuite's three-way match vendor bill approval workflow enables us to identify variances between the PO, item receipt, and bill, allowing us to quickly resolve issues and ensure we are not overpaying for items purchased. I'm now logged in as the Inventory Manager so that I can receive Abby's iPads. From day one, my dashboard provides access to reminders such as orders to receive, various KPIs, metrics, and shortcuts, enabling me to be more efficient with my job. Prior to NetSuite, I would receive purchase orders that were created manually, and many times I would not receive the PO until after the goods were already delivered. This resulted in confusion and errors. Since NetSuite is fully integrated, my reminders, such as purchase orders to receive, are updated immediately after the PO has been approved. This enables me to perform my tasks much more efficiently and accurately, and I am no longer the bottleneck in the purchasing process. After I access the orders that need to be received, I can either receive as a batch or pick and choose. Additionally, I can select a specific vendor for whom I would like to review the orders. Here's the order for Abby's iPads. I can review the order. Notice it was ordered by Abby and that it's for a training class. But when I'm ready to receive, I'll just select receive and this will create an item receipt record. Once I access the item receipt record, I can record the quantity received and any receiving notes. Upon completion, I can save. And when I save, the status of the order will change to pending billing and the order will be routed to accounting for further processing. Now that the order for the iPads has been received, I'll switch roles to that of the AP analyst and enter the invoice from the Apple Store. I can use my reminders such as purchase orders to bill. I can bill these orders as a batch or individually with a single click. Here's the PO for the Apple Store. With a single click I create an AP invoice and all I need to do from this point is enter an invoice number and perhaps a due date. I'm going to select an earlier due date and save. I can also enter standalone bills such as rent or office supplies, items that are not associated with a purchase order or a purchase request. 
As soon as I save the bill, my dashboard is updated immediately, making it easy for me to monitor my AP Aging. I can select the AP Aging directly from my dashboard. Here's the Apple Store, and when I select the Apple Store's balance, I can observe that my invoice has been posted to the general ledger and is now available on my AP Aging. This makes sure we can pay our bills on time to maintain our relationship with our vendor. Our AP tracking is much more efficient since transitioning to NetSuite, and we are now able to take advantage of discounts, which greatly improves our cash management. Once a vendor bill has been approved, the bill is eligible to be paid. We can utilize dashboard alerts to notify AP of vendor bills that are due. Vendor credits or prepayments can be applied before the payment is processed. From day one, NetSuite includes dashboards, KPIs, reminders, and reports, helping us to efficiently track and manage procurement and AP status. We can actively manage open POs to ensure timely receipt and billing by viewing PO status directly on our dashboards. And we can also utilize approval workflows to track, communicate, and approve POs to reduce rogue spending. I've now logged in as the accounting manager in order to generate vendor payments. From day one, my dashboard has been configured for my role as accounting manager with reminders such as bills to pay and various KPIs, metrics, and shortcuts such as payables balance month over month, all of which are updated in real time and help me to stay on track. I'll select my reminder, bills to pay. I usually like to verify the AP and the cash account and I can also narrow down the bills to display based on an end date. I can select all bills and pay as a batch or I can pick and choose. Here's the bill for the Apple Store. I'll go ahead and select that. Upon accessing the order or the bill, I can either create a credit or make a payment. And when I make a payment, I have visibility to all of the Apple Store's open invoices. And I have the ability to select which of those invoices I would like to pay. Notice I can also record a discount taken and make a partial payment. I can also indicate if I'd like to print a check. When I save the payment info and print the check, all of the metrics and reports that I need to monitor are updated immediately on my dashboard. We also take advantage of NetSuite's leading practices for vendor returns and credits. I also like to utilize my AP dashboard, where all AP and procurement activities can be managed from one spot, enabling me to spot trends such as monthly average days to pay, vendor AP and PO balances over various time frames, and AP aging graphs. Month and close is more timely, accurate, and efficient since we implemented NetSuite and we look forward to implementing features such as ACH payments, blanket POs, and contracts in a future phase. Let's recap some of the Procure to Pay challenges that can be addressed with NetSuite. With NetSuite, we can improve the PO entry and validation process while eliminating various legacy disparate siloed systems. We can experience improved AP and cash flow management and cost containment measures. Profit margins and working capital have greatly improved due to tighter controls and the ability to take advantage of discounts. Since POs are now integrated with our system, we experienced improved visibility into the committed spend. Preset reminders and metrics enabled us to improve vendor relations since our processes are more efficient and payments are timely. Since implementing NetSuite, we are poised to expand our product lines and to expand geographically. Thank you, and we look forward to hearing how NetSuite helps your company grow and scale while improving your business processes.